God, I'm well, I think I think we'll probably get. I'm recording. Okay. All right. Diaper. Oh, that's that's for Billy. <laughs> Whatever he needs that for, I don't know. Still, I have no idea what he no needs idea. that for. Welcome to episode four. I can't believe we're on episode four. I can't believe it. I'm super stoked. I can't Those, believe people listen to episodes one to three. I also cannot believe that. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome though. We've had some really friendly chatter on Instagram, some yeah. adorable fans saying like, I was chuckling along with you while I was grilling on Sunday night. And it was just so super cute. So yeah, thank you. Thank you. For We've those even had listening. a couple of listener stories being <gasps> sent into us, oh, that's right. which we are good. not going to read out at the moment because what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to gonna save them up. hold off until we have a few and then yes. we'll do an episode. Yes. So if you want to send us a listener story, you can go to our website, one's got yes. one not .com, and enter in the submission for a listener story. And once we have a few, we're going to stick them all together. But we already got a few, which was super yes, exciting. And I'm some of them so... even had photographic evidence, which was, I know. It's the best. Actually, I haven't checked, so I haven't seen the ones that have photographs yet. So that's Ooh, amazing. Well I, well, I was away for a few days going oh, yeah, that's right. and having my own ghostly encounters, which I will talk about after you tell us your amazing story this week. But yes, I had a little two-day, uh, two-day what's it called vacation to two vacation days vacation vacation well no I went to Savannah with my son I'll tell I'll tell I'll tell the whole story afterwards but yeah we went to Savannah for a couple of days to go look at the Savannah College of Art and Design which was amazing amazing and I just wish that I was 17 and that I was looking at schools and that mm -hmm. my parents said that I could go to SCAD because it's an amazing place but I will talk I'll expound upon that further. So I have nice. been so excited to hear about your possible mm. ghosty encounters. No, it was, it was terrifying. Have you been to Savannah? No, all? I've never been there. No. Okay. If, if, and when you come to the States, you and I 1000% are having oh, yeah. a, a girls weekend in Savannah. You will die it is like I got out of my car and it's like you're shot back in time it's like it being it's like a time war it's actually reminds me of a lot of like Edinburgh where it's like you've just you know when you just that's why I fell in love with Scotland is you get out of the airplane you hit the city and the all the history just seeps it like seeps up into your body and there is like no denying you're like shit has gone down in this place and you can just feel it's like palpable and that's how yeah. savannah is and i have not felt that in any american city that i can ever remember it was very very cool and you and i have I to saw go back the, the video where it. the buildings looked amazing because as much as i love um crumbly old scottish castle-y type buildings i also love those super spooky looking mm. victorian style wooden american houses that are all different colors and they've got porches on the front and they look mm. like something right out of a horror movie oh and it, yeah it looks, they are it looks and that's amazing. exactly what they are it was amazing so yeah I, I i i'm itching to go back already but you have to come when you come just fly straight to savannah and i will meet you there and i'll okay. pick you up we'll have a car oh my gosh it it's like thrilling just the best it's like a, it's like a movie set it feels fake you get out of the car and you're like is this for real is this city for real like it just looks it's insane it's like from a different yeah. world it's amazing i can't wait to like venice venice is like a movie venice set Venice is a little bit like mm -hmm. a movie set as well yeah yes so oh god my my computer just flickered if it crashes, I'm going to cry. But we'll have Billy piece us back together in case that happens. So we'll go for it and we'll see what happens. Yes. All right. So what are we talking about this week, my friend? So I thought I would switch it up just a little bit. And instead mm -hmm. of talking about a 
fairy type mythical creature, mm -hmm. I'm going to talk about a ghost. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to talk about the Green Lady of Krathis Castle. But saying that there's not just the Green Lady in Krathis Castle, there is a couple of other ghosts in Kras Krathis Castle. Oh, really? I discovered. So really? I'll touch on them as well. But the, the, the other thing is that as I was doing my research, and I think I kind of, sorry, that noise was my ring hitting the oh, table. Okay. <laughs> last, last time I kept, I would listen back to our episode and all I could hear was the squeak of my chair. So oh, really I really sorry that. It. I heard the squeak. Noises. I think it was the squeaky toy that my dog was chewing on. That's what I could hear when I listened back. And my oh, family I could hear my squeaky chair shattering. <laughs> you were good. We're so professional. And it's we're so clink. professional. Just so you know, I'm working through my wee dram, which is more like a wee gallon. Gal gallon. I can't even talk because I'm on my second drink. Gallon. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> of what is this called? Glen Levin. Is that right? Did I say it right? Glen it. Yes. Is it Glen it? Yes. It only took me one drink to like to get my get my scotch taste on this week yeah you're, you're gonna be a I'm quickly a, acclimated a addict before. I'm ready <laughs> and I'm sporting for those who are not watching this on YouTube I have to stand up and I'm wearing my some like it Scott <laughs> I this really love like, that t-shirt this is like a vinyl like iron-on I'm pretty sure and and you gotta tartan show your leggings. leggings. This is oh, fine. I haven't got tartan, tartan got, leggings. Yeah, but I've yours got are ones. super sassy, and I'm a little jealous. <laughs> this thing. But this tartan, I do think, does look just like the tartan that's the backdrop of our very professionally cobbled together. Um, it is very professionally cobbled <laughs> together. <laughs> um, little picture that we have. Okay, anyways, onwards and upwards. I'm super excited to hear about the ghosts of Kretz Castle. But that's where we were, right? Isn't that where we, we went we tour when that we, together? We went on a tour around Krathis when you came to Scotland for our castle art retreat. Yes. So it's a, it's a castle in Aberdeenshire. And it is one of the castles that's owned by the National Trust, which obviously it wasn't owned by the National Trust forever. It was owned by the Burnett family. And the Burnett family actually owned the land since the 1300s. That's nuts. When I know it seems like, <laughs> that's just how, nuts. how can you even how imagine you even that know? far back? Right. Like that's like for us it is imaginable, but for you where it's your not. country is only a couple of years hundred years old, it's not even imaginable. Yep. Can't even. But they so apparently they were gifted the land by Robert the Bruce in the 1300s. Wow. And I, I think there is inside Krathis Castle some kind of I, do, do you remember this, Karen? Hmm. Some kind of horn that Robert the Bruce gave the family when he gifted them land. It was like an animal horn with like silver on it or something. And they had it above the fireplace and it was like their most prized possession. You know, I don't think that the tour guide must not have pointed that out, but I can, oh, that was go, terrible. I can go look back at the footage though, because I did make a YouTube video of the trip and I have the whole recording of the tour guide telling us the story. Oh, so maybe maybe we can so have a I'm look wondering, back at that video and see. I was just gonna say, I'm wondering if I can go refer back and see if we really see it in the. But yeah. no, but tell me because I don't remember anyway. So well, pretend. I'm not gonna talk too much about the history of the castle because sometimes the sort of super history of these castles mm -hmm. can get a little bit, a little bit dry and boring, mm -hmm. but. I think originally when they had the land, they didn't have the castle there for a long time. They had some kind of wooden, you know, wooden structure. structure. Mm -hmm. And then they finally built the castle in the 16th century. So okay. that's like a good, imagine being gifted a piece of land and then not for another 200, 200 years, years to yeah. build something on it. Yeah. But 
you know, whatever. So most of the castle is from the 16th century, but obviously there are other bits that have been added on to. And just so I know I have the right one in my head, this is the tall pink. It's pink, right? No, it what? is kind of. It, you're thinking of Craigie Bar. So the one oh. that you're thinking of is the one that people would label as like a kind of a Disney style castle. It's like tall oh. and thin and pink. Yes. And that one is called and, what? And that's called Craigie Bar. Okay. And the one that I'm talking about yeah. with this Kratis yes. does have a similar kind of tall, thin tower, but it's okay. also got um, wings attached to it. It's got a really beautiful big garden with all these ornamental hedges like a big walled garden it's can a much you, bigger castle can you actually the, spell it i actually want to look at a picture of it while you're telling me the okay, ghost story it's c r a t h e s a t h e s okay I, and I also it's because I was because there, I, I want to make sure I'm even watched remembering a YouTube the right one. video about it. Um, okay. Today. And the girl, even though she was Scottish, I was really shocked. Even yeah. though she was Scottish, she called it Craith's Castle, and oh. I kept screaming at the screen, <laughs> going, "It's not Craith's! It's not Craith's! It's Crathis!" Oh, fascinating. I think she's from maybe Glasgow and that's why she maybe just didn't know the yeah okay yeah it is a different castle okay I, I got why I'm confused okay so it is it is a very it, it does have a tall castle portion and then it has yeah. what looks like a house kind of like attached to it's like it. a wing attached yes. to it yes yeah. but the castle part is very much a, a castle looking yeah. structure I mean a lot of castles especially in this area kind of follow the same architectural style I guess yep. maybe it was even I don't know exactly but I guess mm -hmm. there was even maybe the same architects building all of them so um yeah, yeah. they are yeah and it's not so, dissimilar to is it what's the other one Craigavar castle Craigivar. yeah okay they do look similar but the Craigvar one is totally pink and this one it's not yeah, the creepy okay. bar one is more of like a pinky. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm sorry to interrupt. Actually, I just wanted to no. have a good like mental picture of where this is happening. So when you get to the no, it's part. nice to have a mental picture, especially if you're just listening to a podcast and you've never been to this place before yeah. and you don't know. Well, and I find like. too when I'm listening to podcasts, I will stop and Google something. Like if yeah, I don't, I do you know what I mean? Time. And so it's nice to see. So I hope you guys are Googling yeah. this. So it is Crest Castle. Mm -hmm. And Krathis. it's Crathis. Sorry, Crathis Castle. Krathis. But look at this view is beautiful. Okay, sorry, please resume. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just need are to- you hold, Are you gonna hold something up to the screen there? Just holding. <laughs> Whiskey, am I right? <laughs> And I'm gonna get castle. back to it before we get too, too sidetracked and I forget what I was. Yeah, 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 no, go, go. <laughs> yeah. So um the actually the the main ghost of Krathis is called a green lady, but as I was doing my research, I discovered that actually there are loads of green lady ghosts really? to have a green lady isn't that unusual really there's a green lady ghost in sterling castle there's a green lady ghost in fivey castle what? there's a green lady ghost in skipness castle and apparently there's one in denotar which i hadn't heard about well no way um, another castle in um Aberdeenshire the one that's on the coast it's a really cool like ruined castle on the coast if you want to google that one it's a really amazing one actually it was used in a movie um back in the 90s when they filmed Hamlet mm. I don't know if you ever saw that film like Mel Gibson's Hamlet they used part of Denotter as like the backdrop oh for part of that film. yeah I think I watched it in it's, school at some point it's so a super it. almost spooky on the edge of a cliff and it goes out to the sea. Anyway, apparently there's a green lady ghost there as well. And so this uh, blog post that I found was just speaking about green ladies in general before we get on to the green lady of Krathis. Yeah. Because 
they it was saying where does this notion of a green lady come from right i don't I, know if you have green lady ghosts in america to you i have never no i personally have never heard of that uh, outside of no. scotland no is it i wonder if it's a scottish thing because this person that was writing i sorry i cannot remember where i read this i was really good at writing down sources our first week of our podcast and now that's all <laughs> right. gone out the window um but apparently that they think that perhaps there's a few theories for why the ghost is a green lady that possibly the green lady is this like nature elemental a bit like a brownie mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so it's like a cross between a ghost and like somebody in like the fae kind of fairy oh, arena and connected to that and actually it does say here in my notes that their green ladies are only exclusive to united kingdom you don't get green lady ghosts anywhere else That's and amazing. there's a little bit of crossover because um, there's a spirit that's found in the Highlands, and I will pronounce this wrong because I am rubbish at saying Gaelic words, but it's a glacic, a glacic, I think it's called, or glastic, and it's like also known as the Green Maiden, but it's mm-hmm. uh, more of a fairy type creature rather than a ghost type creature so actually that could be why the green ladies are known as green ladies because this glastic glastic Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. somebody please correct me on somebody (laughs) that's like a um a master in gaelic please correct me on my uh pronunciation of Gaelic because I haven't got a clue what I'm saying. <laughs> I sound just I sound just as rubbish say trying to say Gaelic as um you do trying to say <laughs> Scottish accent. <laughs> I am offended. <laughs> <laughs> what my pronunciation is perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, well, we'll leave that up to the jury of the rest of the world. This is awesome. I can't <laughs> wait to hear. I'm, go- I'm Googling on the side here, green lady ghosts, and seeing the most ridiculous <laughs> images. I know, you come got up. some great images. So I can't but wait I to still, hear about it. I know, maybe I should have looked up the um, the whole pronunciation of glass egg or glass egg. We don't but care. We just want to hear about the ghosts. We don't care. We don't no, care. I don't care. But they were like the mistress. Apparently, they were the mistress of the house and they oh. paid dogs and preferred to be alone and they oh. protect the house and they favored fools for some reason. Wait, wait. So these are while they're alive. These aren't the ghosts you're talking about. These are the. This the is women. like the. While they're alive? No, this is like the 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 spirit, the. the oh, the like kind the of fairy. The green the ghost fa- the green, persona. The green ghost fairy. Okay. Type persona that they think that they wonder whether the green ladies that they see in castles are actually not necessarily a ghost but possibly like this kind of type right right okay yeah because they're actually um fairy fae type uh creatures that are connected to the house and the land right 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 and so that's maybe why they would be seen like in a castle well that makes sense yeah, like her red caps and and we are learning about uh, yeah, they yeah, having yeah. been like they're, they're kind not of evil, bound like a red cap, right? But there are there are these spirits or fae spirits that are bound to locations, a specific and, place. And there's a word for that too. It starts with a T. And I'll look it up while you keep telling me. Oh, okay. oh, oh my God! I opened it right. Wait, I open it right. To the <laughs> Your way. huge big folder of my notes binder, my nerd, been, like, my nerd, my nerd binder like a of dissertation ghosts. on Scottish folklore. Look at this. No, I opened right to the page. It's Tutelary is the name of oh, yeah. the spirit okay. that guards a particular place. Ah. So perhaps the, the green lady falls into this category. Possibly. I'm a but we can see expert, because so, there's you know. other theories about okay. other theories oh, about this is the awesome. Green lady. Awesome. Tell me what they are. But so they also think that the green ladies could have been like former noblewomen that were just simply a lady who died while she was in a green dress. 
So that's like a little bit. That's boring. kind of lame. And like, yeah, I, I rejected yeah, that. That's like the. Um, I'm there's a. I sh I'm not going to slag off this podcast because it is really interesting. I'm not actually going to name it, but there's a podcast that I listen to sometimes that is all to do with like, you know, unexplained mysteries and like all kinds of stuff and it's so interesting but always they get to the end and they always debunk um, it with science come, they always debunk it with science oh. and they always come to the most sensible conclusion oh. and every time they do it I'm I'm there yeah. with my headphones Lame. on on my walk going no yeah you're like la 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 don't tell me that <laughs> like you know <laughs> somebody dressed up in a costume no <laughs> That's lame. Okay, good. So, well, we're just going to scoot right past that and let's yeah. go to the next one. Yeah, what's another theory? But you know how we um, we were speaking about like fairies and granting wishes in mm -hmm. the last episode about the seers? Well, they also think that maybe this green lady phenomenon mm -hmm. is like a fairy that... Um, that fairies grant a wish to somebody and then they become like this green spirit mm -hmm. uh, or this green spirit, this green lady spirit might be uh, somebody who's been cursed by a fairy. Mm. And it even said that apparently sometimes she's given legs of a goat by the fairy. So the fairy like curses her, gives Ooh. her legs of a goat, which is That's why rough. we hear these big long flowing <laughs> green dresses to like and, cover I mean, up her come on. Legs. I mean, that's understandable. <laughs> that's very understandable. Yeah, the same. That's why we're leggings, you know? Nobody gets to right. see my legs. Your goat legs. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. That's so she's oh. got this big long like flowing dress so nobody can see her goat legs. So are you telling me if she didn't have goat legs, she'd be wearing like a mini skirt? I feel like she would still be wearing a long flowing dress. I know because that's a ghosty thing, right? You don't yeah. see ghosts yeah. in mini skirts. No. Like ghosts boots, in like high rocking, heels, like and... shorts. <laughs> <laughs> so... They're always in her bathing suits. <laughs> And you're like, whoa, sister, <laughs> maybe not the best choice for you. <laughs> Why do you never see naked ghosts? That's what right? I want to know. Why is Surely that? there are people that die while they're not wearing any I clothes. I have so many ghost questions after staying in Savannah. I like, I can't even, but we'll get to that later on. But yeah, I'm I have sure a lot there must be of like questions. naked ghosts. <laughs> right? <laughs> Can you imagine that if you died while you were naked and you were you were oh, bound to spend all oh, of eternity oh, with Lord. no clothes on. That would be horrific. Yeah. Maybe they're the ghosts that have sheets. <laughs> because they, <laughs> they're like, shit, I've got nothing to wear. <laughs> Ghost mom is like, well, let's just have a sheet. So that, I'll yeah. Cover you we up. Will, yeah. We want to hold your dignity. <laughs> <laughs> Not like ghost mothers, like just wear a sheet, just just a little something, just cover up down there. Oh my god, why aren't there naked? And how come there's no like fat, gross ghosts? You know, I don't know. Like, or like they're yeah. always wearing they're gowns always, and fancy. And they're always like beautiful young women, right? I know that, that glide through the hall. Oh, the gliding is scary. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. there is a green lady in Krathis. Yeah. And whether she's like a elemental spirit or she's been cursed by the fairies or not, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. But um, Krathis has like a different, a whole different legend about where she came from. And the legend was that yeah. there was a serving girl who was... Um, came into the family way as you would like to say if you were in the 16th century yep. or whatever or knocked up knocked up and <laughs> was like full of shame for being knocked up and and disappeared under like suspicious circumstances and um the family thought that she ran away whether she had been made pregnant by 
one of the lairds that lived in the castle or whether she'd been made pregnant by another servant, but she kind of disappeared. And then because the green lady is seen like floating through the castle in this one particular room of Krathis oh. Castle, which is surprise, surprise, called the green lady's room, of course. They're really original. And apparently she's holding a baby and she like, um, like disappears into where the fireplace is or she like leans down into the fireplace and like scoops up this like ghost baby in her arms. And that's, that was the sightings, although there's not actually been a lot of like more recent sightings, but she was sighted by Queen Victoria, who stayed in the castle no way. in the Victorian times. No way. And apparently, I know, apparently um, Queen Victoria saw this ghost and saw this like ghost with holding the baby and like disappearing off into the green lady's room. Wow. And she, of course she wears a green dress. That's why she's called the green lady. And the thing was that in the 18th, don't laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> um, I've got to point it out just in case people didn't realize that bit yet. <laughs> so apparently when the castle was renovated in the 1800s, mm -hmm. they found in that room where the green lady is spotted in underneath the hearthstone in the fireplace they found the bones of a child and they think also I, in some sources I read it said just the child in some sources it said the child and the woman seriously in the hearth Ooh. so the oh, story goes that. that this this woman was pregnant um out of wedlock which of mm -hmm. course in like the 1600s or whatever would have been so super disrespectful and disgraceful and was murdered by the father possibly of the child or mm. something and that is why she haunts the castle mm. and apparently there's like a feeling of dread in that room oh. there's temperature changes people feel uneasy that's creepy. Um, according to the Burnett family, which is the family that owned the castle yeah. before the National Trust, um, she re represents this like warning of a impending doom and oh, disaster. Oh my. <laughs> so she only hangs out when bad things are gonna happen. Yeah, did you like Jeez. the way I said that? Impending <laughs> doom. We need to have Billy disaster. come in and like add sound effects right there i'll make a note minute 27 38 i'm sure billy can find some yeah, uh, super can. Cool sound, sound effects for our ghost story so apparently queen victoria saw this like green mist flowing across rooms and it swept up this childly ghostly figure wow. and it disappeared into the fireplace Oof. but you know something no nope. their green lady has also been seen more recently really because um, apparently she hasn't been seen for a long time but then there was an article of um, a photograph that somebody took in just 2016 and they were visiting Krathis no. Castle with their family and their family were standing outside for a selfie oh. and so they're standing outside the castle getting a selfie with the castle in the background no and way. in the doorway of the castle which was shut at the time there's yeah. this like silhouetted kind of weird whitishy green figure of a person which they claim is the green lady so cool that's super cool I know. So if you want to Google that, that photo is wildly like. Oh, it is. You just Can Google, I see it? Yeah. If you Google Green Lady of Krathis, it yep. like comes up in all the searches because it's oh. an article from recently about somebody that saw the Green Lady. And apparently it. the castle guides can hear like funny noises and sharp temperature changes. So... <sighs> I wonder if anyone else has seen the Green Lady. Oh my God, you can totally see it. I know. I'm looking at it right now. <gasps> Maybe that's a surprise, surprise coincidence. I don't know. Oh my God, you really can. 
it's literally like a mom who's probably like 40 her mother and then her little son yeah it's like and a there's selfie. a freaking ghost hanging out in the oh my god you really can see it wow so i it went looks, <clears throat> it looks a little bit like a nun like a yeah like a nun's, like with a habit. And it's, yeah, it's right there, plain as day. Wow, so cool. I know. That is so it's cool. It's pretty cool. It could be that a trick is. of the light or a Photoshop no. job, but it is pretty cool. It does. Yeah, it really, really is. Um, I actually went to a um, Halloween tour. I think yeah. I spoke about it in the last episode no. I went to a Halloween tour of yeah Pathis I remember when you were right going there. and I was like are you insane it was so cool they lit the whole castle up in green and the whole castle was lit by just candles well most of them were those electronic candles because obviously you wouldn't want to have mm. real candles inside a 16th century castle that's got lots of expensive furniture in it in case it burns <laughs> yeah. down yeah and then each guide was standing in the room in darkness. So no you could go in each room way. and they would tell you the ghost stories. It was no so way. cool. If someone was well, like, we I'll pay you a million dollars to do that, I would just be like, nope. Not oh, yeah, doing you it. it was so no fun. way. And then but then when we went into the green lady's room and they were telling mm -hmm. us a story about the green lady. And actually, the way that the Green Lady's room is, is quite a spooky room to begin with. It's kind of, it's got lots of uh, painting on the woodwork mm -hmm. that's quite, uh, it's obviously been restored, I think, but it is quite old. The original yeah. painting would have been from yeah, maybe when the castle was first yeah. built. And then there's this archway into a bedroom behind it. Mm -hmm. But we hadn't gone in there because that was part of another part of the castle and they'd said we're not going into that we're not going down that steps that spits closed off just now and we were all standing in the green mm. lady's room hearing the ghost story and they must have had someone who worked and they did say at the beginning of this tour we're not going to do any jump scares but they must have had somebody who works at the castle hiding in that other bedroom which was through the back of this green lady's room and halfway through the green lady's story no. there was this big ah! no. scream no. and honest to joke the guy the guy standing next to me who was probably 25 there with his girlfriend <laughs> acting like the hard man jumped like a right jesse almost up, up into her arms like squealing like a little girl <laughs> so good i don't blame you it for one second oh my I god know. i would have it was quite actually because we were I standing in the dark it was quite scary Seriously. anyway there are other ghosts in krathis do you want to hear they're I super actually, short i absolutely do um because there was a cruel story of lady agnes and she was the mother of the laird so the laird at the time and this is maybe the first laird i don't know because apparently it was the late 1500s mm -hmm. so her son was the laird alexander burnett and lady agnes was his mother mm -hmm. and alexander burnett had this lover who was maybe not completely suitable maybe she was like a girl from the village or something like that because of course in those days I was going to say in those days but this still happens all these families marry into each other a to keep their money um within within mm -hmm. one the realm of sure uh, uh the aristocratic portion of society but also you know it's just a way of keeping all these families together so they always marry like cousins distant cousins and mm -hmm. things like that so he fell in love with somebody who wasn't suitable this is what the story goes and yeah and he was actually away um overseas i don't know whether he was fighting in some conflict or something like this mm -hmm. he was away overseas and <clears throat> the mother did not approve of this match so she invited this girl round for dinner and this girl died 
And then wow. when Alexander Burnett came back, now this part of the story, I was like, he must have come back like the day after or something. Cause like she wouldn't still have like the same silverware out like <laughs> three weeks later. But apparently she he was drinking, like he was so upset that mm-hmm. his girlfriend had died. But he was having a meal and he was a way to drink from this goblet when his mother suddenly like lurched over the table and grabbed the goblet out of his hand and threw it away because she had poisoned it to kill the girl. Wow. So the legend goes. Wow. And she had forgotten to clean it afterwards. What? And I know. Please forget. This is just this is a story. Just, just go with yeah. it. Just although I think and although if someone is dying, you probably do forget your goblet and you're probably swept Keeping. up pretending that you're shocked that someone just died. Well, and even if sure. you live in a castle and you have maids and servants, servants that do all the dishes for true. you. I know I'm but so maybe in the Maybe in the 1500s, they didn't clean after every meal. Maybe they just had stuff sitting on the table that they refilled because, you know, they only had like one bath a year or something. (laughs) Anyway, she apparently grabbed this goblet. She like threw it away. And of course, Uh when she did that, the suspicion was on her that she had something to do with this this girl. The girl's name was Bertha, apparently. That's not a kind thing. then the father of this girl came to the castle to claim back the body of his daughter. Mm. And when he came back to claim the body of his daughter, Lady Agnes, the mother, said something that I can't remember. <laughs> like, she's over there or something like that. Uh-huh. And she dropped dead as <gasps> well out of oh. guilt. Oh. Because she done such a murderous act. She so, deserved you know, it. Karma, bitch, gets right? in the end. Seriously. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> she had it coming. Just don't go poisoning people because you don't never kill know anyone. You, you I just die. there's there's the moral of the story. <laughs> Especially if you're gonna be naked afterwards, because you'll yeah. end up a naked ghost. Yeah, and if that you don't have a first. ghost mother to put a sheet on you, then you're just naked haunting. I know. So does well, the her, so who's so, haunting now? So is it the daughter? Is it them. the oh, sh- really? Sorry, my phone's making noises and I don't know how to stop it. <laughs> Turn oh. the volume. <laughs> <laughs> There's the girl and the mother, and then also the green lady. Green lady. They're all oh, hanging out, way. having a grand old Yikes. party in Crathis Castle. No way so the, apparently one of them, I'm not sure whether it's the girl or the mother, but one of them is called the White Lady, mm. and then the other one doesn't have a name. She's just called the ghost. And and so they all hang out at Crathis Castle. Oh, have ghosty parties? That's a lot. They have ghosty parties, but apparently... The daughter, the one that the the girl who was mm-hmm. dating, the Laird, she's only seen once a year on the anniversary of her death. Oh, so. yikes. Steer clear then. I know. I know. So That's she's scary. not really getting to take part in in the, the Castle Ghost Party, is yeah. she? Well, except that once a year. That's terrifying. Where but... does she go the rest of the time? I know. I, I know. I know. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah, that's know, terrifying. So that's the ghost of Castle Castle. And I so ne- ne- nearly said Castle Fraser, but it's not as crass as not. Castle. And that castle is open for tours. It I'm is sure, not during and COVID, do, but in yeah. year round. And they do yeah. ghost. They do ghost. Like, oh, ghost they do. Tours at night. Yeah. Have mm-hmm. they had like poltergeist teams in there? Do you know? Do you know? I did a search online because if you're in the UK, you'll have heard of Most Haunted. It's a little bit like Ghost Adventures or one of those kind of shows. I know mm-hmm. in America, you've got Ghost Adventures, which is one of those like cheesy uh, ghost hunting. Pretty much like 90% of it is. I can't even um, watch them because they're too scary. Made up for 
TV. They're like made up. They're like, who threw that stone over there? And it's somebody off camera, like throwing. Oh, that's disappointing. You know, I'm yeah. sure. But I thought that I thought that most haunted would have been there because most haunted's been to um Castle Fraser and mm-hmm. Fivey Castle. But no, there was as far as I could hmm. see, there was no most haunted in that's interesting. Okay. Yeah, um, that's interesting. Okay. Well, I have a lot of ghost Tell me about questions. Savannah. I was gonna say I have a lot of ghost questions. So we got out of the we drove, it's exactly five hours from our home, like literally That's to the a minute. Big drive. Yeah, I mean not so bad. I mean it was worth it. Fine for a day trip. So we got out of the car. And I landed. So if you were in the UK, that's like be, that's the other side of the country, and I'm not doing you that. You would be like, done. I, I know. You'd be like all of Scotland done five hours from one to coast yeah. to the next. I know. Yeah. So I got out of the car and I'm like, is this for real? So wisteria, beautiful purple flowers hanging. Like it's a movie set. When I tell you it looks like a movie set, it is a movie set. I don't know if we just hit it on like the most perfect weekend of the whole year. It was a total coincidence and it doesn't normally look this beautiful, but so you have these 19th century Victorian manors that line the historic business uh, district. And there's parks, the whole, it's like a park system and every block there's like a giant fountain wow. or a giant statue commemorating someone. Or, How big know, of a water. city is it? Like um, what's the population? I don't know. It doesn't feel large. I didn't go. I think there's like a regular part of the city and then there's the historic district. And we, okay. were, all, we were only in the historic district. So I don't even know what the regular Savannah part looks like. Okay. Uh, this Did is they like, have ghost tours there? Oh gosh, so many, so many. Oh, really? It's like super oh, God, well known. It's like one of the most haunted cities in America. But I I didn't, what I chose the location of our inn based on the location of the tour that we were going on the next day. So yeah, I knew it was, it was, our inn was on one side of the park and the park was just like, you know, a park you could walk through it in five uh-huh. or 10 minutes. And then the admissions to this college that we were touring, the Savannah College of Art and Design, otherwise known as SCAD for short, was right on the other, like literally right across the park. And I was like, perfect. So I'm looking at inns, I'm looking at inns, I'm noticing there are no, there's no hotels, there's no like Marriott or Hilton or Embassy Suites. They're all these inns and they're all mansions. They're all, they're all this, they're all very much the same, whereas they're all Victorian mansions and they've all been converted into these hotels. So I'm like, okay, that's just where you stay when you go to Savannah. It's fine. So I just randomly booked one. That was the closest one walking distance from the SCAD admissions counselor. I got a parking spot. It's free parking 24 hours a day, which is crazy unheard of in most American cities. So I was like, what is this magical place that there's no parking cost? So I found a parking spot right across the street, parked, went in this house, beautiful Victorian mansion, 14 foot high ceilings, 12 (gasps) foot high doors, the most majestic parlor I've ever seen. <laughs> I walk in the front door and I'm like the at balconies. There's there's the, the wisteria just dangling from every second story balcony. All these oak trees that are like the most majestic thing. They're huge. The whole city is just filled with foliage and oak trees lining every street. Dangle there like they're, you know, the, the leaves are dangling down. I'm like, is this a fairy tale dream? I walk into this house, <laughs> first thing out of my mouth to my poor son, who's 16. I was like, oh, hell no. I'm like, this place is haunted. This place is haunted. This place is so haunted. (laughs) This is terrifying. And he's like, mom, you're such a loser. I'm like, oh my God. So it was cold. It's COVID. So, you know, we had to wait a moment to get to be let in. So the concierge lets us in. Super friendly, wonderful, wonderful man. He was on the phone. So we had to wait a moment for him to get off the phone. So where I kind of was just standing in in the foyer peeking, but I mean, it was like the most beautiful place I've ever seen. Um, The foyer with everything is symmetrical, ornate. You know, there's two chairs, the fireplace in the center with a grand mirror over top and looking into the parlor, which overlooks the balcony, which overlooks the park. I was just like, where? So how old are these buildings? Like Victorian? No, these are, yeah. So these are built in like the late 1800s. 
Okay, so that's old for America. It's old for America. But it's like your average house in Scotland. It's like yeah. a new house in Scotland, and it is an <laughs> old haunted house in America. So yeah. we're sitting down. He finally gets off the phone. We sit down, and I'm like bursting to ask this man if this house is haunted. So, you know, he's like, oh. I would be my first question too. Yeah. But I wanted to like, I also was, I was a little shy of freaking my son out because uh, I don't yeah. really share my weirdness out loud to my children all the time. I try to be like a normal, just annoying teen mom. I have three boys for those who don't know. They're actually Jack turns 17 next week. So 17, 15, Billy turns 15 in May and Max is 12. He'll be 13 in September. So I'm trying to like play it a little bit like cool mom. I'm laughing, I'm laughing at myself, Karen, because the <laughs> first, you know the story of the weird Victorian <laughs> vintage antique Bible that my son bought off the <laughs> yes! And he's not yes. religious he just bought it because he thought it was a cool thing cool. it turned up at the house he house. opened it up it was this like and my son's older yes. my son's 20 if he's listening to this he will hate me forever <laughs> but he, but I opened it up at, he opened it up and he was like look what I bought off of eBay and I, for, I was like oh hell no no you're not that in the house that is sure 100% legitimately haunted and he looked at me like I was crazy I went and got my sage and I saged around the bible and I saged myself I saged him he stood there going what the hell are you doing and then he told me that the eBay listing of this Bible had photographs inside of the people that owned it. These scary like Victorian photographs of the people that owned it and a piece of someone's hair. And I said, I have to sleep in the same building that this Bible is in? Wait, no way. wait a second though. Is it in your house right now? It's in my house right now. Okay, go get it. I want you to go get it. <laughs> Can you, I want to see it. Go get it. Oh, I, I, maybe Maggie I'll get wants some, to see it too. Maggie maybe so maybe cool. I'll get it for like the, our next episode. Okay, but I'm, I, really I am a little, I'm actually a little bit scared to touch it. We'll put it in like a towel, wrap it between some pillows. I feel like it is like legitimately <laughs> haunted. And I was not scared to show my weirdness to him at that point. I was like, I'm getting the sage out. And he was like, what is this stuff even for? And I was like, it cleanses everything. <laughs> I need some of that chenizzle so I can take it with me to Savannah. So I, yeah, so I what want happened? to Sorry. see that. So I sat down and I was like, and he's like, your room, it's, you can go in your room this way, but it's actually better if you go around the side and through the courtyard and blah, 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 to get your room. I'm like, whatever. So finally I just was like, okay, I just have to ask, is this, this hotel is totally haunted, is it? And he was like, oh my God, it's so haunted. And I was like, <laughs> I knew it and I was like oh my god I'm like you have to tell me the story and he was like oh yeah it's a very well-known story he's like it's very very famously haunted I'm like great nice that I didn't like quick google before I just booked the place but it was just so conveniently located so the story is super creepy so so the house was built by Aaron Churchill, who is a relative of Winston Churchill. Oh, really? Whatever. His middle name, he went by Ruddy because, um, or no, Rudder, sorry, Aaron Rudder Churchill. He was, and this I is weird. That a, name. There's a weird Scotland tie in. Of course there is. Thank you so much. So he was, a, he grew up in Nova Scotia, which is New Scotland, I uh -huh. know. And he was actually, um, his uncle was. A sea captain and he was his first mate and on a voyage from Nova Scotia to Scotland their rudder in a horrible storm broke and was ruined and and got just just detached from the boat and so they and and they're only like eight days out or something on this whatever however many however many days the voyage is from Canada to Scotland. I imagine a lot uh -huh. when it's 1890s. Weeks, probably. So he was 16 years old. He oh, got that young. Built a new rudder. 
This what? is I totally was. unrelated to the story, but it's a really cool story in and of itself. So I'm telling it anyways. He built, he he, built it while they were on built, while they were in the sea. They built a new rudder on deck. And, but of course to, they had to have someone attach the rudder to the boat to have it be able to steer the ship the rest of the way. So he volunteered to be the one to dive under the water and attach this giant rudder onto this boat so they could continue oh their voyage. Goodness. So get this. So he did it the first time it worked, it broke. It broke, <gasps> that one broke again. They had to build another one. He went down the second time, dove under freezing it was november when they were doing this voyage oh my goodness dove into it attached the second rudder to the boat do you know how many times they had to do that to get it safe to scotland they're going to glasgow eight times they had to do it eight more times and he was doing it the, all eight times like he was the one who like that's crazy was the attacher guy so he upon their arrival in scotland um, was awarded a medal and he was awarded cash from the government because they were like, you uh -huh. are a hero. Like you saved the crew, all mm -hmm. the things. So he became, that was like the start of, and then he went on to um, actually inventing a few other things that made him very rich. That's the long story short. So, so he, he was a, he was a, um, he was a Canadian ancestor yes. of Winston Churchill. Yes, he, he was came before Winston Churchill. Yes, yes, and so he lived in Nova Scotia. Was his um, summer? He that was his summer home, and his winter home was in Savannah. So he uh -huh. lived. He had two homes, and so because obviously the winters in Canada are a nightmare, and then Savannah, it's like a gorgeous, breezy 50 to 60 degrees. So he would... Um, and I would imagine is the summers in Savannah a nightmare? Are a hellfire, yes. Okay. It was so unbelievably hot, like uh -huh. probably like 40 degrees Celsius. So um, so he had a mansion in both places. He was uh -huh. very wealthy, he, and he was a very smart man. He invented a few things, and um, and, and so he was married. Does he haunt it? Does he haunt oh, the hotel? No, just wait. It gets so good. So he and his wife have these two mansions, one in Nova Scotia, one in Savannah, and they're uh -huh. unable to bear their own children. Oh, so that's they, so sad. So they actually had their two nieces live living with them they adopted two nieces Lottie and I forget the other girl's name they adopted them both because they couldn't bear their own children one day Lottie who's a girl of 14 what was, happened to the niece's parents did they die you're just gonna have to wait to the end of the story so, oh my goodness I'm on the edge of my seat so one day they're in their savannah home in the winter and Lottie is walking through the foyer and looks up and sees his father, Aaron Churchill, um, having a passionate kiss with the nanny. <gasps> and she is so taken aback and so horrified that she slips Oleander into the tea of the nanny who is taking tea out in the courtyard. This is just the courtyard. They have a separate courtyard entrance between the two, between their home and the next door neighbor's home. There's this beautiful oh. courtyard that's still there with a fountain. And that's where we had to pass through to get to our room actually. And she killed the nanny. Oh my goodness. This is just like the Crathis Castle thing with the baby and the- But wait, you know? but but the best way of getting rid of problems in those days was just to were bump like, let's just off. kill them. But it yeah. turns out that the nanny was actually her mother. <gasps> and she did not know that. And she found that out after the fact. Oh, yeah. that's so sad. So she was horrified and went like, she didn't mean to kill her mother. She just meant to kill the person that was, you know, his was breaking up the marriage or whatever with, oh with her, goodness. with her father. So Itchy. she went like cuckoo and they sent her to an asylum because she like went mental. Yeah. Uh-huh. So Captain Churchill died in the house as did his wife died in this house. But Lottie, who is their, their adopted daughter is the one that, that haunts, haunts, haunts the and house. And she's crazy. And she, she haunts, haunts, she's crazy. And apparently she haunts both houses. 
And apparently in the Nova Scotia mansion, she's not so nice. And what? In, so she goes all the way up to Nova Scotia? And then, then when she How haunts... How did she manage to do I, that? Well, she is ghostly, so magical powers. But she haunts the one in Savannah, and according to the concierge, so a couple of things that totally freaked me out. One was that he said he's worked there for 11 years, uh -huh. and that she's rather playful in her hauntings. And I was like, well, what the heck is, what is playful? And she was like, uh, versus the ones up in Nova Scotia. So I was too afraid to ask, like, if she's nice she's down here, here, what is she doing up there? Those poor people. Is it because it cause it's colder and it's like, she's not so happy? <laughs> it's a little it's just like dark. A colder right yeah I don't know. maybe she hasn't got enough clothes on <laughs> but so this concierge said that he's worked there for 11 years and he will not he will not work the night shift he said <gasps> absolutely will not will not work when it's nighttime and he was laughing so the first that when I first asked him like is this hotel Tonda he was like yeah I was he was like just this morning a lady came out of her room and was going crazy screaming because someone had knocked on her door and, and I think she had was reporting on what had happened the night before there was she heard a knock on the door she opened the door and nobody was there and so she was going a little cuckoo crazy over it and he was just like oh, ha, ha. like I think this stuff happens all the time and so he just thinks that, it's hilarious that would be the ghost yeah and so he was like and um and he's like and the, the her the most favorite sort of thing that she likes to do is that she likes to tickle the feet of guests while they're sleeping oh he my god that's their feet. so creepy but and he was like oh and by the way I don't mean like this happens every once in a while he's like not like it does he's like no this has happened like 70 or 80 times since I've worked here like right over 10 11 years so that's like so that's like that's like maybe once a month someone's getting their feet tickled yeah yeah and I was like oh great great and if you think about it, Karen, that is the people that have mentioned it to him. Mm -hmm. But he might not be on duty every day or whatever. So it could easily be more or people that don't mention it to anyone. Because they're too embarrassed. Like, I wouldn't necessarily yeah. mention to someone that works at a hotel if I'd, you know, like, yeah. so there would be people that wouldn't even mention it. I know. That, you know, oh, I know. And he said that people have, he was like, la I mean, he was just chuckling because he's like, oh, like, he's just like seen it all kind of, you know, like just I've seen it all, whatever. Uh, and Savannah's a fun town. Like there's, it's an open, it has an open bottle law. So you can actually have an open drink and walk around. I think it's like the only city that you can do that in rough here so there's a there's a lot of drinking there's a lot of partying so i think uh -huh. he's kind of seen it all i'm sure he's seen a lot of drunk i don't guests. Care, understand what an open bottle is. an open bottle is so you can take an open beverage and walk in public outside in the city okay streets. i don't know if i they don't do even that. know if you can do that over here. i don't probably yeah. not I was gonna think I'm trying to think of like you can yeah I don't think you can don't, most places you cannot know. you have to finish your drink in a place before yeah. moving on to somewhere else yeah. so in Savannah you don't have to you can take your drink and carry it out loud out loud outside so he was kind of like oh I've seen it all he's like yeah when one guest in the middle of the night he you know at three o'clock in the morning he oh yeah of course it's three o'clock in the morning yeah, of course it is and he's got his stuff and he packs his bag and he's like he's he's like i'm never saying you again and they just like split three o'clock in the morning yeah so when i googled it then so then i'm like oh my god where are we like what kind of place are we so he said um yeah so i googled it and there was the, the only review that i could find was this man who said that something sat on his chest in the middle of the night he couldn't breathe or talk and he had to like get the hell out of there in the middle of the night and i'm like wondering if that wasn't the same guest that he was talking about yeah so he just and then so so we check in to our to our did room. you see the ghost so i did not see the ghost but i was terror my freaking son fell asleep at eight o'clock he was like in a coma so i am sitting in this room like terrified <laughs> and i can't i have no one to just be like oh my God, he's like dead asleep. Have, um, so i, I was have, i would have freaking out all by myself fast oh my God, i was on. terrified so, make sure that you need to pee at like 
Oh, I know. That you, that you're, so you don't have to get up at pee at three o'clock in the morning. So, that's, so that's always my thing. I don't need to, I don't I want to know. at three well, o'clock I, in the morning. I always pee at three o'clock in the morning. So I was terrified. So two things happened that now that I look back at them, I think that are super weird. One was I was sitting and unpacking my things. Now we were on the like base. We were like kind of under the first floor not really the basement. We were kind of in the basement. So half uh -huh. of our, so when I looked out the window, I was looking out into the courtyard where the murder occurred, okay. which I didn't understand. I didn't like put two and two together. And, but it wasn't, it wasn't like, uh, I wasn't on the same level as the courtyard. So like when I'm standing at full height and I open the shades to the window, the courtyard is like at my neck level. So we're sort okay. of half so under, at, yeah. we're like under yeah. the first floor. And we we're under, so there was rooms over us. So it was not weird to hear sounds, I don't think, over us. Cause I knew that room one and two were the most haunted ones. I think we were under room one. So okay. I, well, that was fine. As long as I, was, I wasn't personally in room one, I was cool with that. Yeah. So I was unpacking our very tiny bags. It was just one night and Jack was, I don't know, using the bathroom or something. There was a torrent of water, like, over the window and like tons of water was like dumped outside of our window. And I didn't think anything of it except for like, that's weird. There must be a hanging basket or something of, of flowers or something over mm -hmm. this to have a torrent of water being thrown out a window. Maybe it was her pouring her drink of her Whoa, poison. Or Eleanor T. <clears throat> poisoning her mother, not so, mother. So at that point I didn't I didn't think anything of it. And then this the second <laughs> the second one. <laughs> but that but then the next day I did and I'll tell you why in a second. But so the next the next weird thing was so Jack was dead asleep forever. So finally at 1030, I, and I had slept really, really badly the night before for a couple of reasons, my brain and some other reasons. So I was exhaust, exhausted and it was 1030 and I, but I was terrified <laughs> to go to sleep. It might've only been 930. It was not late at all, but I was, and I was dying. I was dying. I'd driven five hours straight. So I was just spent, but I was too, too, too scared to go to sleep. So I left all, we had our own little sitting room with a fireplace. We had our own private bedroom. We had two queen beds. So it was like three kind of rooms that were all ours. Uh -huh. the bathroom. That's worse. Cause then there's like rooms I over know. there that you can't see. I into. know. So I left the two lights on in the bathroom full force. Cause I was like, hell no. Am I lying here in the dark? So I was Finally, I worked on making a new journal. So it was super fun. I was so exhausted. I'm like, yes, I just need to, <laughs> I need to be like passed out so I can just go to bed. So I, you know, when you're like almost asleep, I was so tired. I was like super comfortable in my bed facing my son. I almost like crawled into bed with him, but he would have thought I was a total crazy person. So I was like, don't, don't go to bed with your son. That's weird. Just stay right I would have been tempted to tickle his feet. <laughs> So I'm almost asleep. And then all of a sudden I heard like my water running in the bathroom, <gasps> like the faucet on. And I was it on. And I was just like, mother, <laughs> I was so mad. I was so, I was so scared. My heart like dropped. Oh like, my God. To the base Had he come on by I, itself? I know. I was so, at first I was so scared and then I got so mad. I was so pissed because I was like, if there yeah. is a. You're like, that's very playful of you, love like, to me. If there is a mother ghost in my life, I'm going to be so mad because I can't handle it because I'm so tired. <laughs> I really can't handle that right now. So I just, my heart was like beating like out of his chest and I just listening to the faucet running and I'm like, not, I'm like, I, it's like in the, like the murder movies when you're like, you don't I like check, been, you did not I get out of bed. To, I was freaking yeah. terrified. I was like, I am not moving a muscle. And so I finally, eventually the sound stopped. Now I know there was a room above us. So again, I heard like a big screeching sound of a chair, but I'm like, no, that's just like the movies. And I know uh -huh. there's people above us. However, 
I'm sure there was a bathroom above our bathroom because I, I worked in architecture. I actually understand how buildings work and I'm sure there was sinks over, but the sound of water running was 100%. Like you can hear the sound of water running when it's yeah. in the same room with you versus when did it's- Did you not go through to check whether there, did you just lie there? No, paralyzed? I was literally paralyzed. <laughs> And yeah. piss because I was so scared. But then it it like turned off. Like I couldn't hear it anymore. Oh. And then I went to that. Spooky. But that was like I just I was so mad. I was so mad. <laughs> I was just mad. <laughs> I was and like, so did you manage don't... to get to sleep after that? No, so I having. I did. I like... was so tired, and so I did. I did. And weirdly though, Jack because he went to bed at eight, he said he was up from three to five. He's like, I was not sleeping from three to five, which I thought was super creepy too. Um, and then I was like, did you see? But then I kind of liked that he was awake during those like yeah. wee hours. He can, he can experience the ghost. I know. Leave and you know to what him. too? I was like kind of in awe because I'm such a baby. Like I'm so genuinely scared. And I try to like protect my kids from that. You know, like I don't want them to see me be like terrified. Like I want to be like the big strong mom in front of them. But I was shitting bricks and I didn't want him to see that. And he, the whole time was like, was so chill, you know, he's like, I'm not going to have any problems sleeping at night, like whatever, weirdo. And I was like, oh my God, like, how do you get so big and brave? Like, really? Because uh, I know that time I was, when I was Maybe age, he just hasn't, well, I don't know. Like, I you're insane. Know. I'm going to bed. <sighs> I was like, why? Yeah. Why boys, are you teenage this, boys. This That's what it is. I know. So, but what I found out later, um, I so one of my students actually emailed me. She was like, oh, hey, I'm thank God I didn't read it the night that I was up. Because I had all these questions. I'm like, if someone has can be tickling me, the ghost must have some form to their body. Like they they can't just be like a swishy spirit they must have like <laughs> swishy some, some swishy spirit. they must have some sort of like mass to them to be tickling these guests so then i my brain is like you know like what i'm wanting to have you like all these things and so she do you ever seen maybe you don't have it in the united states but there's a really good program that's done by the bbc called ghosts no i don't know if you've seen it i have not it's a it's so good it's a comedy and it's about this girl and her boyfriend who she inherits this huge big mansion house mm -hmm. that some like distant aunt had owned and mm -hmm. she didn't even know was a member of her family and this aunt had no living relatives apart from her so it gets passed to her and her and her boyfriend move into this mansion that's inhabited by like 10 ghosts oh, God. and the ghosts the no. ghosts are all the people that owned the mansion or lived in the mansion before right. but it's funny so like yeah. in, the, in the basement so they for the first episode they can't see any of the ghosts mm -hmm. they don't you know they're not aware so they're like walking through them right. and like sitting on them yeah, and stuff yeah. like this and the ghosts are like get out of my <laughs> um, and then the girl has an accident and like hits her head oh. and um and like that knocked her her head mm -hmm. when she wakes up from like being in the ambulance or whatever right she see the ghosts so she can see them but her boyfriend can't oh, and nice. she's like who the hell are all these people right. in the house all so many people but the ghosts are like, so there's like, you know, there's like a, a woman from the Middle Ages mm -hmm. and like a, somebody who died in the 1980s. Right, like, right, right. Oh, and they all have in their the own basement, there's all these plague victims. <laughs> so all these plague victims in the nice. basement. And none of them can touch anything apart from one ghost who can, but he has to concentrate really hard. To so get... you see him and the other ghosts are like, make that mug move. And he like <laughs> sits there and he kind of goes <laughs> like this. And uh, that's a really horrible noise for anyone that's just listening on the podcast because <laughs> on YouTube, <laughs> I was actually doing the movement. I realized that noise. No that one's noise looking at you. really obnoxious. <laughs> Um, and then he manages to move the cup like half a centimeter, oh, you know? Right? 
Because so you have to have the same, but that's four. a good thing. Like, so the, I just had so many like <laughs> midnight questions, you know, I was like 9.30, I'm just old and lame. But like, and then I'm like, how, yeah, she must have some form to have all, to be able to be touching all these people. You can't be, you can't be no. ghosty spirit. And then, so one of my students, which I was like, thank God, you're going to kill me with fright, sent me like this longer like, cause all the ghost hunter people have been to this inn and I have like all the paranormal holder guys. Yeah. He said, you can, I asked the, the concierge said, you can go and look at all the footage. They put like toy, they put like, um, objects outside. Cause that was like, my first question too, is like, well, is there any th ha hauntings happen in my room? Like I need to know about my room specifically. And he was like, no, but outside of your room, they have footage of toys moving by themselves in the middle of the night. I'm like, Jesus oh, Christ, uh, you're going to give me a heart can attack. Can you hear my cat in the background, by the way? No, I can't. Yeah. Him. Let okay. him in. He's, Go get him. He's I so have cute. this really old, old geriatric cat. He's 19 and he is in the other room. And Go at the moment, he is wailing Go his get him. head off. Go get him right now. I so want to see him. Go and get him. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually. You can put like a little, little inter interlude. It's right. Amazing. Well, I'll tell them a story about the courtyard. So this email that my student sent me was telling me that actually the most sightings they've ever had of the ghosts were in the courtyard. And so the court and the courtyard is where I had we had to walk through every day to get to our room. We didn't go through the inside. We went out around the side. And Ooh. and the courtyard is where the water was rushing down. So then the next day I was like, oh my God, I wonder if that water. So I looked over that window. There was no planter or anything there. There was like nothing there. So I'm, it was just weird. The ghost there was, water? There was the water and then the water in the faucet. So I was like, mm, That's so weird. I don't know. I'd love to go and stay there. You but I probably would. It. I'd be absolutely terrified. It was, no, I was sleep. terrified. Um, yeah. But I would love, I'd love to make myself you know, know live through the fear and see what was gonna go look down look at savvy sweet boy i know I wasn't happy that he was left on his he own. can always come in and hang out during our podcast well he's a little bit needy Aww, let him in he's a little bit needy Ooh, let him be needy maggie's here but she's dead as a doorknob next to me there <laughs> Dead dog. <laughs> Dead dog, Maggie. It's just good. I'm surprised. It's late. She's not her dinner yet. But I know. Shall we wrap up? This yeah, let's week? wrap up. Is there any housekeeping? We've spoken about our submission form for listener stories. You need yes. to remember. Please, if you have any ghost stories, and really they can yeah. be from anywhere. I feel like we yeah, need they don't to have, is it, if they're Scottish, then that's great, but they don't have to be. I feel like any ghost story is a good story. So please. Or fairy. Or fairy story. Oh, for or, sure. you know, weird, otherworldly creature story. Yes. Yes. Or, yes. Yeah. Anything you want to share with us, just email us one Scott, one not at gmail.com. Um, and we have a ton of journals in the works. I went on yeah. a little bit of a journal making bender. <laughs> so pretty soon you can go see on our website, one Scott, one not. And that's the number one, by the way, one Scott, one not duck. Yeah. com. We're going to have all so of they're our like, um, Yeah. They're like different kinds of like blank journals or journals with the different images inside with some of the pages blank. You can like use them to write down whatever you like your own yeah. spooky story that you're gonna send into us so that's right and there's a couple that will help you um if you want to write down your dream if you're one of those people that does a lot of dreaming I keep meaning to um actually mention this to Mandy our friend Mandy Brown she always tells me that she has these crazy dreams and so I made a few uh hi Maggie oh hello <laughs> those who are watching the YouTube video this is Maggie <laughs> I know this is like Pat's corner this here now. Pet's corner right Your now. Pet's corner. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few cats I can round up too. Um, but they're for helping you document your dreams. So that actually one side of the paper yeah. is lined. So if you want to write them, and then the other side is actually blank if you want to draw something that you saw or help remember that way. So all sorts of fun things over at onescottonenot.com. And check us out on Instagram. Oh yeah, come 
we forgot about Instagram. that. We're on Instagram. Our yeah. dumb stories that we like to, to um, share. And next week, I'm going to be sharing the stories of, for next episode, episode, that'll be episode five, about the Finn folk of the Orkney Islands, which are... Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Actually, super interesting and wacky so i know nothing about them so i can't wait to hear i'm super excited to share that with you guys so that's coming up thank you so much for listening or for watching if you're here on youtube and thank you billy for editing thanks for our producer (laughs) wonder Wonder boy billy campbell you're the bomb who last week said i hope you checked that before you hit play (laughs) to which i said no i didn't (laughs) hopefully it's okay (laughs) so if you ever find anything inappropriate or that shouldn't be there just let us know because that would be funny (laughs) we'll be there forever All right, you guys, we will talk to you next week. And if you ever feel like leaving us a review on any places that you listen, you would, would probably be the first. And we would appreciate that as well. I hear Yeah, we would love it. I hear that's super helpful, but I'm really so new to podcasting that I'm just gonna take their word for it and say, Yeah, we would appreciate it. I don't actually know what that does, but it sounds like it would be a cool, cool, good thing. So if you did want to do that, we would appreciate or it. Or share this podcast with anyone who you think might want to listen to our mad ramblings about ridiculousness we want to hang out with you and your friends so that'd be cool all right we'll see you next week thanks for hanging out okay (laughs) okay bye bye